Finally, if we want to have our EOBs come back electronically, or ERA, Electronic Remittance Advice, then we need to fill out these agreements as well. And in this report, when I click on the report link, it just has, it's not a huge list, but it's a list right now of insurance carriers that McKesson has set up for ERA. So click on the link, and here it is, and you can see if I scroll down, I mean, it's not a very big list considering that we have them from all different states here. And I'm going to scroll down to Utah, and right now, the list here for Utah that I can receive electronic EOBs back for is Blue Shield, Medicaid, Medicare. Not too many. One other thing you want to make note of is that if you scroll down past it, they do have some additional ones for Altius, uh, Blue, Choice, Health Plan of Carolina. In other words, in other words, go beyond your state listings here and scroll to the bottom and simply double check to make sure that there's nothing else listed down here that you can set up an ERA for. So I'm going to scroll back up to Utah here and it's going to be for Blue Shield and I'm going to click on the Y and again it's the same thing I want to click on this once to deselect it click on it again to make sure that everything's outlined in red that's required for me and then scroll down through my agreement this is going to be for Blue Shield Professionals so I'll check the number there and I'll scroll down special instructions and all it's saying is if you can't submit claims electronically then it's saying here that you cannot get any ERA or your EOBs back electronically scrolling down again basically we're doing the same thing again as far as entering in the contact again it's going to be enrollments and let me zoom in again so we can see it scroll down customer email again is going to be enrollments at advancedmd.com scrolling down now we're at the part in the ERA that you need to select special boxes here for Advanced MD to process your ER claims correctly in the software. So the first thing you want to do is check the box all days. And then we're going to scroll down. ERA report options. Advanced MD wants you to check the CPR 401 or remittance data report. Also, skip down to CPX 401 or provider remittance data. Check that. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. And under the ERA heading, we want to check the ANSI 835 uh, version 4010A1. Scroll down a bit more. For the batching, we want to check option 1. Scroll down some more. For the file format, we want them unwrapped. Scroll down a little bit more. For the ERA processing options, we want to select Express. Now those are the defaults that AdvancedMD wants you to check before submitting this um, over to AdvancedMD. So we're going to scroll through here again and finish filling out the rest of the information. Like the name of the doctor, if it's an individual or group, go ahead and type it in. Contact person. Again, we're looking at who's the person, if there's any problems with the ERA that McKesson will contact. It could be you. Um, the phone number, provider's phone number, fax number, again hover over the boxes and basically fill out all the information that it's asking or at least that's in blue tax ID number group number if available here the providers name go ahead and type it in and then the numeric ID that Blue Cross is assigned the provider and then any signatures the doctor needs so all we need to do now is just go ahead and save it and it's always good to save this PDF to your desktop that way if you need to make any changes you have it on file so once you save it go ahead and print it off and again if it requires signatures give it to the doctor to sign like I said not all e-claim agreements or ERA agreements are going to be the same and I want to take you to another example here so I'm going to hit the back arrow and I want to do something a little bit more intense here before we call it good is I'm going to scroll up to California and let's say we want to set one up for Blue Cross of California an ERA agreement click on the Y. I'm going to do my highlight fields again, click on, click off, and I'm just going to scroll down. Now this one I'm going to have to zoom out just a bit on. And it may be a little bit tiny, but I think you'll get the gist of it. So filling out the same thing, customer contact enrollments, email enrollments at advancedmd.com. Scrolling down you want to check all the boxes that I just explained to you in the other video here. Then after you check off the appropriate boxes that AdvancedMD wants, we'll continue to scroll down. Some of these ERA agreements will have an electronic funds transfer so you can get your payment out electronically. If you'd like to do that, you can go ahead and check the appropriate boxes, fill in the doctor's information, and there you go, print the doctor's name, and in that purple box over to the right it's saying that we need the doctor's signature. 
and of course your um, bank information or the doctor's banking information. Now the other thing I've come across here, as you can see up in the, the purple area, letter of intent must be on provider's letterhead. What you're going to do is you're going to take this part right here, page, and you can see up at the top it's the last page, page 11, and you're going to put in your printer um, the doctor's letterhead and you're going to print this last page out on the letterhead. And before you do that you want, of course want to fill in all the information here so it looks nice and good when you print it off and then in addition once you fill it all in you print it off on the letterhead the last page the doctor will sign it and if you don't print it off on the letterhead then more than likely you're going to be denied here for your ERA. You want to bundle all your ERAs and your e-claims together in one envelope and again send all those off. As things change you want to follow up with Advanced MD and ask them to follow up with you if there's any errors about these EDI agreements that you filled out.